So we're going to start with a prayer, and then my team is going to crush whoever we play. St. Thomas senior Daniel Carr looks pretty serious on the court, but it's just a game. I am good at every, every aspect of basketball. And Carr's friends play along. Some people say that he's the next Michael Jordan. Fun and games this night, but three other nights a month, Carr's Catholic men's group is far more serious. I have a bunch of men showing up to talk about the virtues or wanting to talk about being better man. Getting in shape, spiritually and physically. I just suggested this and I think the guys all kind of were in the same boat and kind of want to get out of the chairs. Sports are important to Carr. The small town North Dakotan came to St. Thomas to play football. I was a high school star like many athletes who come in here. As a freshman, Carr played tailback. Daniel Carr with the carry. Immediately you have 150 brothers and you know you go to, par you go to parties together and you hang out together and I guess as time goes on and I think what we all saw is that faith becomes a lot more important part of your life. Let's go Jazz! And that faith reached beyond the field and helped revive the fellowship of Christian athletes. I've seen Dan's leadership skills. Track and field athlete Felicia Willard and volleyball player Emily Pritchard worked closely with Carr. He's always willing to give humbly and lead people in a way that's representative of Christ. Just leading by example and being true to who he is and being um, loyal to those that he's friends with. I think that's what makes him shine above other St. Thomas students. How would you say Prego, Paul? And he truly does shine as the 2011 Tommy Award recipient. I personally hope and believe that this award means that I have in some small way reflected what it might mean to be a, a true Christian. That's Dan Carr. Faith means so much. But his journey has included some twists and turns. His junior year, he began to question his beliefs. Is faith something that, you know, you've grown up with? And what does it mean to be Catholic? It kind of was that coming of age, like, it's time to grow up in all aspects. Tough questions that only strengthened his faith. Faith to me is, is the reason to, to live. He's really grabbing hold of adulthood. He's saying, let me, really, let me really get serious about life in all the best ways. I bet we've all gone through something that when, you know, when you, down the road, you'll reflect on and you'll look back and say, that was a very drastic change in my life. Carr's life also changed during a trip to Italy last spring with the other Catholic men's group leaders. It's one of those trips that'll be um, really, you really see the, the fruits of it in about 40 years. But Carr will see some fruits of the trip sooner. I didn't get really inspired to be a priest or anything like that, but I saw the vineyards and I got really inspired to give wine a go. Carr will spend this summer in a vineyard outside Milan, Italy. I like being out in the vines and the dirt and planting and being outdoors. Just like Carr sees potential in the land, he also sees new potential for his God-given athletic skills. This, you know, this is my, more so my kind of faith. Uh, playing basketball, you know, you know, serving at a soup kitchen, more so, yeah, I guess, interacting with my friends and family. You come into college and you think, well, I'm a football player, or I'm a volleyball player in my case, um, and that's how you define yourself. And then over the years, you really kind of figure out, wait a second here, I have all of these other qualities that um, define who I am as a person. Those who know him best say the Tommy Award is a fitting honor. Oh, nice. He's the kind of person you'll find that people just want to have as part of his, the team. He teaches me how to live a strong, faith life, as well as uh, how to be a good guy. This award is, to me, an affirmation that I have positively impacted enough individuals to take notice in my four years here.